Hello Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over some things that you need to know how to find on a National Park Services website. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay now, so there are a few important details that you should probably know about a park before you visit it. And I always say you can find that on the park website, but I never have specified exactly where. So today we'll be going here to a random national park website in Mississippi. And we're going to find out how you can find all of that information. So I just clicked a random state, a random park. It was Gulf Islands National Seashore in Florida and Mississippi. And that leads us to the first thing that you can find, which is where it's located. As you'll see here, it'll have the state's uh, abbreviations and that's the number one way that you can find out just like quickly where a park is not only the fact that i got this off of the mississippi page in the national park service site but as you can see there's lots of cool info cool pictures but if you scroll down we'll find the next and probably one of the most important things that you'll need which is the phone number so if you can't find anything or if you have any extra questions you can just call the park and ask them. And that also has the contact information. And also normally they have this, but sometimes they don't, they'll have the address, which if you want to write letters, super important. You just go to the park's website, scroll down, there it is. Another important thing that I think you should know about is this, the FAQ section. I use this all the time. This one seems to be just full of like the rules and regulations, like very business stuff, but it can also include several commonly asked questions about the park. The next most important tab you'll need is the plan your visit one. This has so many things and this actually seems to be a pretty in detailed version of that. So we'll just click on it. It has lots of cool things, but if you see on this tab, it has the basic information. Wow, okay, I didn't did this by complete random chance, but this is a very good park website. So here you'll have the basic information. Look, it tells you that Wi-Fi is available, operating hours, fees, permits, weather. This is actually a really good site. I'm impressed, man. Then it give you directions, which can also be found in maps. Then it has, here it has eating and sleeping. So that would be like camping. And if you want to do that inside the park, there are regulations and stuff. Then this one has like things to do in the area, which normally isn't there, but uh, that's very useful. Then it also has the calendar. So any events that are going into the park, most parks have this. It's also over here in this tab. And this also has safety and accessibility. So that was a really, really good site that I picked, Gulf Islands. It was a very in detailed tab for the plan your visit tab. Normally it's just a couple of those, but that's still where you'd find all that basic need to know information when you first visit a park. And then like I said in some of my other videos, the learn about the park is if you wanna just educate yourself before you visit. Again, this is an extremely long tab. Normally there isn't this much stuff on it. Um, and then to get involved, which of course has volunteer info or how you want to support the parks. Um, also, another quick way is this info tab on every park website. If you click there, it'll take you back to the basic information part of the plan your visit. But this one gives you like the specific tab if you just want to go straight to, I don't know, fees and passes. So this was actually a very good site, but there's a couple more things that you might want to know, which for instance here is the permits and reservations. If you want to, I don't know, use a boat in the park or fish or camp, this is where you need to go. It'll help you organize and sort all of your permits, all of the camping regulations. If you have an RV, it'll give you all of that. Cooking, anything that you need to know that might need a permit, this is where you'd find it. That's another important tab. And they're also down here, if you can't find anything, you can click the site index, which will basically take you here. And as you can see, all the kind of purplish stuff are places that I've already clicked on, but it'll show you every single hyperlink that can take you to everything you need to do. So it's kind of like this outline of basically what you can find on the park. So if I wanted to go to the pet section, which is important if you want to bring a pet, it'll take you straight to there. So if you can't find anything through the tabs and all of this stuff, there's also that. And this park, again, super cool it's got a Spanish version of the entire 
area if you don't speak English as your main language. Wow, this is a long page. But anyways, this was just a quick little tour of the more important details that you need to find on a park website. There's also this here, which I forgot to mention earlier, which was the contact us, which if you don't want to call them on the phone and you don't want to like mail them, it normally just includes a way that you can email the park through the website, not through Gmail or Yahoo or whatever you have. So that basically was everything you need to know. Uh, again, at the bottom, it'll have the important tools, like if you need to visit the park in the site index or the FAQ or the Spanish, uh, if you need another language. Contact the park is here, so it'll have all the information there. And then of course here is all the park's socials that you might want to check out, which will also keep you updated. That's another good way to know what's going on inside a park. If you look at its social media, it'll normally keep updated on weather reports or conditions of trails and things like that, which will generally be, if there's a trail closed, under alert. So here, because this is in Mississippi, it's got some of the things that are closed due to the hurricanes that will also be found on the social media, but in this little alert tab. Well, everybody, that was the end in today's video. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please be sure to comment down below with your thoughts and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!